Hello folks, this is John Norvell with the Music Performance Academy. Today I've got a great tune for you guys. It's how to write a song, an instrumental song, in five minutes. Now this is going to be great for you guys that want to impress the girls again, but you maybe want to write a song with, a, with this type of thing. It's going to be great for going to a coffee shop and hooking up with some of your friends and just hanging out. Great tune to write for church or social. Uh, your band wants to get together and play. These are ideas that are going to help you thoroughly to write good music and simple music. So here we go. Four steps. Step number one is what we call the hum and strum. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that now. Here we go. This is going to be four chords, a G, a D, a C, and a B minor. Here we go. And stick with me till the end. You'll get a lot out of this. Here's the hum strum. One more time. <laughs> Next part is the chorus. One more time on the course. Now back to the verse. There you have it. The second step, we're, thank you all. We're going to go to the second step now is to play the melodies that I just hummed on your guitar. <clears throat> and they're not that hard to find. Excuse me, I've got, I'm really hoarse, but we're going to continue on because this is great stuff. And stick to it, stick with this till the end. You're going to learn a lot and easy stuff. So here is the melody that I kind of hummed throughout the, the song. Real simple. Now, the next part is the course. And this is where you have to learn sixes. This is step number three. See this chord right here? You want to do this together. These things are all over the neck. Uh, so they're all over the place. So what they are is these these things, um, it's just, they call them sixes because they're one, two, three, four, five, six. In this case, it's uh, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. So it's this it's interval between the uh, that note and this one, and it's six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, the next part is this this right here. And that step, well, we step three. Okay, the next step is going to be hooking it all together. Okay, I believe this is step four, which is the last step, and it's basically just hooking it all together. So what I'm doing is we've got a track we're going to record. It's got the rhythm, just the stuff I strummed. And then I'm going to play the melody line and some of these harmonies using these uh, the melody and the sixes together. And I think you'll really like how it turns out. For one thing, it's really simple. I mean, if you're a novice, you can play this. If you've been playing the guitar for three months, you can you can do this. It's not that hard. So here we go. time next the same verse now the 
next part is the course. See how important the sixes are? And there you have it. All right, there you have it. Now, first thing is keep it simple, just like I did. You don't have to get real elaborate and, unless you want to, but on this is a simple song. Step one is the, is the strumming the chords. In this case, it was G, D, C and G, and we had a B minor in there as well. And keep it in four. Every chord has four beats. Just step number one is the humming strum. Step number two is playing the melodies. Um, step number three is playing the harmonies. Those are the sixes. And the last step is to uh, put it all together. So it's really simple. You can use this on any song. You can play out of the key of C. You can play out of the key of D. E, A minor, all, all the keys. Keep it simple for a while and you'll really enjoy your playing uh, so much more. If you need more help, just, just email us and please like and subscribe. I think you're going to find this channel very informative, probably a lot more informative than what you've been getting. And I don't say that out of pride. I'm just telling you that I think we're, we can, we're going to help you all a lot. And at the same time, you're going to help us. So appreciate you all. God bless you. We'll see you soon.